Hey, welcome back to YouTube. My name is Mike Swartz. Today, I'm gonna to share with you guys how to use the tabs in NinjaTrader. And it's very crucial if you have limited monitors. So let's say you only have you know, one monitor. Maybe you're trying to trade off a laptop or at least your workspace is, is limited in terms of how many you know, charts you can have up. Well, one of the things is we can have different tabs down here at the bottom. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clear off all these tabs off my chart. And I'm gonna show you guys just you know, how easy it is to build a tab. So once you have your, your basic you know, chart layout, the screen that that you like to look at and maybe you want to you know duplicate this across multiple instruments well it's very easy we can just sit there and once we have the chart already built well actually first you want to make sure you have you right click on the chart and make sure you have show tabs because if you don't have it then you won't see any tabs down here but if you click right here and it says show tabs uh, where'd it go right here in front of my face if you click show tabs you'll see where it pops up over here now if i want to duplicate this chart all i have to do is right click on that tab and i can click duplicate in new tab which will bring it right over here now if i want to duplicate this into a new window then you can see it'll actually populate in a new window and it makes it real easy now let's say that for instance i want this one this chart right here onto the dial i just go ym um oops ym06-22 and now we have a chart of the Dow and you can see it's right down here. Oops, I got the windows linked since I copied it. All right, so now I have no link on the window. Let me go back over here on this one and we'll say ES06-22. All right, so there you go. All right, so now we have an ES tab, we have a Dow tab. And why this is important, instead of coming up here to the drop down and say, okay, let's see, maybe I wanna do the NQ and having to wait for the chart to load, which right now it's already in my cache, so it's loading pretty quick. But sometimes during market environments, it can take a little bit of time to load. And just clicking on the tab makes things you know, way easier. And you can see which instrument it is. Now, this is a little bit more convenient if you're using the same chart in terms of you know a five minute chart, a 10 minute chart, whatever. But let's say that you wanted to name this something different. Maybe we want to come over here and what we can do is go right click and go to rename. And I could rename this tab to whatever I want it to be. Let's say I'm gonna name it test, all right? So now, regardless what is on the screen, it could be named test. Now, this could just be labeled 30 minute chart, 60 minute chart, whatever it is so that you know, hey, this is the 30 minute chart. This is a YM chart. Whatever the case may be, you can see it real quick and real simple. Now, the tabs doesn't just end right there. If we come over here and we go to new, let's say for instance that you wanna work with, let's see, well, we can even do, let's try this. Let's see if we can do market analyzer, right? We did a video on market analyzer earlier. Let's see if we can put a tab on here, show tabs. Now we can have different market analyzer windows. Let me do this one more time. Sorry about that. Show tabs. And what I can do is I can duplicate this tab, right? So I can have multiple different, you know, different market analyzer windows up and to try to really reduce the space and just, you know, click back and forth. Maybe, you know, sometimes you're trading currencies, maybe other times you're trading the futures market, and maybe you have another one just dedicated to stocks. Or if you're a stock trader, maybe one set up for the Dow indice another one set up for the S&P, and another one set up, let's say, for the NASDAQ or the Russell 2000 index. Again, tabs can be very, very useful. Now, we can also use tabs. If we come right over here and we go to, let's see if I can find it real quick, since I don't ever use this, um, this darn thing. If we go right over here to the Superdom, for instance. All right, we can come right here. You can see where it already shows right here. Well, if I wanna have more instruments down here, well, I can just duplicate this right here. And let's say I want this one set again, we'll use the YM06-22. All right, so now if I wanna switch between my order entry, I can just go back and forth between the two if I wanna use the market, you know, the, the DOM to enter and exit the trade. Me personally, I do not feel this is the best way to enter the trade. I personally think Chart Trader is a much more efficient and reliable way than using the DOM. The DOM is old technology at this point. So if you're using the DOM, you might wanna think about, you know, getting involved with current, you know, technology and using the Chart Trader. Because with Chart Trader, we can actually, you know, we know exactly where our orders are in relation to where price is right here on the chart, which is a huge advantage in my opinion like always hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a big thumbs up till next time good luck and good trading